G'day YouTubers, Gabba Beast TV here. <clears throat> this is a um, beginner's guide for World Shards, new MMO. Play to earn MMO out on, it's on the open loot. All the digital collectibles that drop in the game is on the open loot. Marketplace, get access to the game, this is early access. You can buy a tradable access key for a... Uh, they're going for 60 bucks now, USDC. It's on the open loot marketplace, or you can buy an island. <clears throat> the islands give you more comfort and more building capacity. And you're going to need more comfort so you can build more, upgrade all your crafting utensils. So you can craft your, uh, your NFT, you can craft digital collectibles and then sell them on the marketplace. So you. Best, I think you're best off getting like a legendary island so you have maximum artifact slots. So, uh, you put artifacts in your artifact slots, and the higher tier artifacts you got, the um, higher tier tool or armor or weapon, digital collectible you can craft, higher tier rarity you get. That's where you're going to make your money, crafting higher tier digital collectibles. So uh, I'm Gabba Beast TV. I stream me. I stream. I stream play to earn games for uh, over three years now. I've been content content um, creator for other play to earn games. Hundreds of hours of streaming. Uh, I got a YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitch and YouTube. I follow. I got a. And we also got a Billy Billy channel in China. Billy Billy is like China's version of YouTube. It's like 35th most visited website in the world. I've got a popular channel over there as well. If you have a, have a look at my Billy Billy there. There's my Billy Billy here. You can see I just come back from China. I was in China for a month, went for a holiday. So I did like a vlog of my, uh, my adventures in China and trying different Chinese cuisine and stuff. I got 14,000 subs, fans, and 3.4 million views. Going to hit 4, 4 million views soon, as long as I keep uploading content. Maybe I should start translating um, these World Shards videos into uh, Chinese to um, open up open up to the uh, my Chinese fans and the Chinese audience, Asia. Asia is a big gaming community. Yeah, the the Asian market might be something in interesting to um, promote this game into. Yeah, like crypt crypto is like banned in China, but Chinese. I found I just got back from China a couple of days ago. I was there for a month for a holiday. I find Chinese people are very very smart. They're very very smart, and they know their ways around things. You know, like coins you earn in the game for selling your digital collectibles you can use magic software and you, there's lots of apps now you can go to amazon swap your coins over and buy anything from amazon send it to your house there's many there's hundreds and hundreds of shops that accept coins that you can purchase just about anything you can furnish your whole house with coins so yeah it's not it's not not that hard to figure out that they'll they're smart they know how to figure things out they can just get change the coins over use the app and furnish their whole house by selling digital collectibles <laughs> you know i went i went to china with an empty suitcase and I was buying t-shirts like this. I was buying t-shirts for uh, $4, $10 each. And I just filled up my suitcase with a, a whole entire wardrobe. <laughs> so after you finish the tutorial, you're going to end up here. You go down here, you go over the holographic bridge. And this is where your island, this is where you start building everything basically you're gonna need a lot of chests trust me i need more chests than this i think i need like five chests of each 
anyway, with your farming, grow your veggies and stuff to craft your potions. I'll go into that in more detail. I'll first explain how dungeons and that work. So what you want to be doing, you go to here, and that's basically, that's the town you go to to sell your loot, but buy your blueprints and buy ingredients from the app to make alchemy and cooking. There's three NPCs there. You're going to start here, and you're going to be doing the start of dungeons. You're going to randomly get these, and you've got to grind, and you're going to get relics and essence. That's your two bottlenecks. You need relics, and of course, you've got to pay silver to do these dungeons, small, medium, big, great. It's 50, 50 runes. Not relics, runes. Runes and essence, sorry. So the runes need 50 runes to do a great island. I prefer to do the greater island because you get more essence. I find you get more essences. So you're going to basically farm the starter dungeon, get hundreds of uh, runes, and then start doing... Greater Island. You can do smaller ones if you like. I find I get more essences from a great Greater Island by testing them. If you have a look over here, I got a record. See here, one star Great Island, forty-two silver profit. I got you know that many runes, essence, runes, essence, twenty, fifteen. It's sort of RNG. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I hit most. Or the, the mounds and all the chests. So sometimes you get 30, sometimes you get 20. Here we got a two star Great Island, 65 silver profit. See, 18 and 14. So it's it's kind of RNG how many rune, 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 runes you get and, and essences you get. You need the essences for crafting to craft your gear to go into the high tier dungeons. Here, one star Great Island. 56 silver profit, one star, great island. So you can go and do the medium and large islands and compare it here and see how much profit did you get? How many runes and essences did you get? I think you'll find you're better off just doing great, great islands because you, you need the essences and to um, craft, craft your gear. It's the bottleneck for crafting. One star great island, 54 silver profit. One star great island, 37 profit. So it's R R even the silver's RNG. Sometimes you get the uh, golden bell, which is 10 silver. Sometimes you don't get the, t the golden bell. It's just R it's RNG on the silver and, and the uh, runes and essences. Two star great island, 75 silver. See, 18, 16 runes. Two star great island again I did today. Fifty eight profit, twenty two, thirteen runes. So it's sort of RNG there. So pretty much that's what you're gonna do. What I've been doing is jumping in here, farming this, and then going into town bang to get my blueprints. Did that work? I clicked on it. Game sort of stuck. There we go. So go in there, farm is farm, farm, farm. You're gonna need lots of wood, gather all the resources, gotta gather everything. Come out and then go to the blueprints and rinse repeat because the blueprints are on like a three minute timer. So you want to keep re reaping to build up your blueprints so you can craft the weapons you need. Uh, when I'm doing greater islands, I pick up everything and gather everything because you're getting essences from picking up vegetables and gathering resources. That's going to give you essences as well. So it's worth doing all that. This is the town. Just three NPCs. You go to this Miakul over here, merchant. You dump your jewelry. That's how you get your gold. You sell all, all the jewelry you get from the mobs and chests and sell it for gold. It's got a 24 hour timer from 
the last time you first first went to the merchant for the first time that day and you can only do like 10 gold a day there's a bottleneck for gold farming and over here is the librarian where you get all your blueprints uh, one star yeah one one of those I'll grab another one one star hammer and as you go up level two level three level level t up to t5 all the different stars up to three stars that's where you get all your blueprints from this is my collection of blueprints i've got a couple of blueprints nothing fancy but i like i like the um I like the hammer and the great sword, and I'm going to start practicing using the claw. The claw is really good, and I want to try out. I got to try out the sword and the shield. I got to try out all the weapons, the, the double axes. I'm not not too much a fan of that. It wastes wastes too much energy doing its spin spin to win ability attack. And then you just go across here to this miracle, and you get all your like. I think these are just alchemy ingredients and cooking. So there's your cooking and your alchemy ingredients. So you can craft your food and your potions. Go back to the home island. That's basically the game now because it's only early version release. We're going to expand more. There's going to be lots of adventures, lots of different things to do, lots of NPCs and dailies and gonna be lots of lots of cool stuff it would be cool if they had like an npc where you got to play like a little mini game each day to get more runes so you can do more dungeon runs that would be really cool also they're gonna have pets it'd be cool if you have pets and maybe have a pet mini game where every day you have, uh, line up five of your pets five of your pets and they afk battle and have like an arena with a leaderboard and each week you know, the top top five hundred get like rewards. You could pay the native native token. Maybe the top ten or top fifty or something get like certain digital collectible drops. And then you could have a, a monthly leaderboard, and top winners of the month get even like bigger rewards. That would be a cool uh, mini game. So you got different ways of earning earning in the game. Like I've played some play to earn games where they got like 15 mini games, <laughs> like 12 to 15 mini games in the game. And they all have, all have different ways of earning in the game, which is pretty cool. Gives you a lot more contact. This is my house. You know, you like grey um, tab production or buildings and where is it? There's roof something. Buildings, production. Farming. You gotta put down farming beds. And to put your seeds down, you just go to production, farming, seeds. And you click on your seeds and you can plant them. A tip don't collect them one by one. Spam E. You get more. You get more from your garden by, by spamming E on your garden. You're gonna need lots of um. You're gonna need lots of chests. Trust me. <laughs> I haven't gone that far in the game. I haven't even done a level two yet. I've just been building stuff up. You know what I mean? So like, you're gonna need lots and lots of chests. See, look, look how much grass I got. <laughs> All over the place. You need a bit a lot of chests, but um. You can name them here, see? Name, naming them will help you find your stuff. And you basically, you know, I just I just name my stuff. So I got my dungeon run sorted. One star, two star, three star, blah, blah, blah. You put your alchemy utensils down. Then you got to upgrade them by putting these down. So as you level, them up, level up your, your weapon forge, tool crafting bench your armor crafting bench then you can do make one star weapons two star weapons 
three star weapons, and they all they all take essence to craft armor, tools, etc. Then when you get to level two, you don't need essence anymore. You get a break from the essence bottleneck, and you can craft all these weapons with just the T level two T two resources that you gather, which is really cool. Press tab, <coughs> building, production, I guess. Weapons, put down your weapon forge. You need, you need comfort, capacity, and those materials. Then you want to put an anvil down. So you're going to have to make these T. You can't see because my screen's over here. Go like that. So you put down a weapon forge. Takes resources, capacity, and comfort. Then you got to put down. Then you got to upgrade it by making T two resources with your crafting benches. Then you got to put down an anvil, which I have over there, anvil, and that'll get you get you to level two. You can make the level two stuff. Same, same with the with the armor bench. Armor bench upgrade. You know, level two, level three, level four, level five to your T five. Same with the same with your refineries. Put the smelter down. Then you upgrade level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. Basically, so that's how you that's how you upgrade. <clears throat> Upgrade your utensils, utensils so you can craft higher tier tools, armor, weapons to do the higher tier dungeons. And, um, so you collect my runes, so lots of 50 essences for crafting. Then you're going to need your cooking. So you need, you, you, you're going to need the, the HP buff from food, higher tier dungeons, and pretty much you're going to be 24-7. Your crafting utensils are going to be running 24-7 crafting for you. It's going to be, it's going to be pumping out the resources, crafting, 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 running, running back out, doing dungeon runs, getting your runes and essences. And running back in, grabbing the you know the materials out, back and forth, back and forth, basically. And you know, the more you build, so I'm up to capacity now. So I got to get I got to get myself a nice legendary island so I can get more capacity so that I can build more. Every time I build, I get a little bit more comfort. I'm gonna you're gonna need uh, I think. If you, someone just calculated, they were saying, if you don't um, upgrade your armor, your alchemy, and your cooking utensil to get every other utensil up to T5, you're going to need like 50,000 comfort. So we're going to need to buy a lot of paintings and farm a lot of paintings out. Because all the decorations will give you comfort. So you can place, keep upgrading, basically. We'll put this stuff away. They're all con constantly making me mats. And that's basically the game so far. It's pretty it's pretty simple. Not too complicated. The hardest part is getting your head around how many runes I need. Because so you gotta get farm the you gotta go T one to farm water rune. Then you got then when you got then you're gonna get you're gonna get wind rune farming the one star so then when you've got f enough wind rune you can farm the two star but then you, you gotta you gotta have two star tools two star armor two star weapons with all the essences then when you farm two star you're gonna get earth rune which will put you into the three star so then 
Earth Rune and Earth Essence, you can make the three star. Do the three star dungeon. And then you'll be able to unlock level two, which is just essences to unlock and a little bit of silver. Where once you start doing the level two starters, it's it's easy to farm the mats because you don't need essences to make the uh, weapons, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I got to unlock that. I think I can lock, unlock it pretty much now. I'll show you. I'll show you what the gameplay is like. I just do a start starter dungeon. It's just gonna give me a ran, random one of these, and zero zero travel cost. Yeah, I like, the, I like the hammer. I always carry a bat, hammer, and sword. Keep that around. I like the great hammer because it's got a lot. It's got a lot of CC on it. Frames dropping so much, probably because I'm streaming. Lucky I just ordered a 4080 Super. I think it's coming tomorrow or the next day. It's got processed. It's being processed right now or something. So it'll be easier for streaming. I got the bug. I got the bug. I got the bug where you press your shield and you're not getting CC. I hope they fix this soon. But like, if you press your you press your shield, you press your shield just before they hit you and it knocks them down. It's an extra CC. So then then you can chain chain more CC when they get back up with your weapons. I like the hammer, but it. It uses a lot more. It uses up a lot more durability, so you're gonna you're gonna chew through your durability a lot quicker. The great, but it's got more CC. The great sword's really good. Does a lot of damage, and and it uses a lot less durability. I'm just gonna farm farm the mobs here. I don't need any resources. Unfortunately, I got the CC bug where they're not CC being CC'd by my shield. And the game's got, you know, the game's got puzzles. Thankfully, um, the puzzles aren't too difficult to do. You know, you can do the do the puzzles in under two minutes, which is fantastic. If I want a puzzle game, I'll go buy a jigsaw puzzle, thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. Or I'll play, go and play Tetris or something. I don't, I don't, I don't want to sit in an MMO dungeon grinder doing puzzles for half an hour. I, I'm, it's really great feature. That it only takes less than two minutes to do a puzzle. Really, really good. I'm, re I really like that. Over here, this is where a uh, boss boss will spawn. And you get a good chance of getting a gold chest. Or sometimes it's just this. Um, puzzle. It's pretty easy to do. Just got to find the um, statues and activate them. And sometimes there'll be some mobs in here to kill to get some chests. And 
another puzzle there, jumping puzzle, which is easy to do. There's another puzzle where, like, you got to give the Miyako some resources. That's got, an that's got another bug that needs fixing. Because on the higher tier dungeons, it asks for carrots, but you can't pick up any carrots on the map. So, yeah, they need to fix that. You're not going to run around with T1 mats to do higher tier dungeons and lose five or six slots. But, like, you expect that from, you know, early access version game. A lot of people have been saying, to be honest, a lot of people have been saying they can't get into the game. I couldn't get into the game for the last four or five days. I was getting ga some some server error. I talked to support. I uploaded my um, log files. You can also double tap your energy and food consumption at the same time. I sent my log files to support. Spoke to them in the support channel and they got my game working which is pretty cool. So, unfortunately, some other people can't get the game working. I don't know if they've contacted support, sent in their log files. But they're, they've been transparent about it. They said what the what the problem is. It's some server, server-based problem. They're fixing a bug and they're fixing, they're making it easier so people can hand in hand in their logs, log files easier and make a bug report easier next time. But um, it's good to see that they're, they're fixing that. You can also crouch, chuck rocks to draw away the stronger mobs from the, from the pack, so you're not fighting a pack. Then didn't work, he caught me. Yeah, but you can sneak up to the mobs, draw them away, so you know, so you can fight fight them one by one if you're having difficulty. And I'll show you over here. You got to you got to just make sure they don't see you. So if he was like next to two or three mobs, and just single him out, press C to go camouflage ninja mode, and draw him out to where you want to want to um, delete him because he's scum. We're just killing scum here. Then just. I forgot to stun him. <laughs> but you can you can stun him. I just forgot to do it. Oh, my weapon broke. two mobs at once but I don't want to you just sneak up behind them stun them but um my view on the game the gameplay is really good I mean, the combat's really good. The combat's really good. It's fluid. 
works well. I'd be happy to grind this, grind this for hours a day. Crafting's really good. It's not too overly complicated. It's just essences you need, and you got to keep upgrading your bent crafting benches to get higher T level gear to do higher T level dungeons. Gathering's good. Like you put you put the circle on the blue circles. You're aiming thing, and you crap you gather quicker. Which is, that's an awesome feature. I hate sitting there all day long waiting to you know gather something. Just aim your rectangle. Aiming rectangle on the uh, blue circles. The graphics are nice. The graphics are good. It's one, it's one of the. It's very well polished. Early, earlier, early version. The early access version is really, really well, well polished. I've played a lot of early access versions and played it, played it one web three, web twos. They're full of bugs. There's so many things wrong with it. This is actually everything works. The gathering's working, chests are working, puzzles working. Um, I'm just gonna eat some food. It, it works really well. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I think the game might, the game's gonna, if people like. This is an MMO type of dungeon crawling, adventuring. I think this game might pop off. I've tested a lot of games. 95% 90, of them fail. This one, this game, I think it's got it's got potential. This game's got potential. So I've killed all the mobs, basically. Got to go up over here, I guess. These are all the mounds you got to make sure you collect. Once you once you once you explore the, explore the dungeon, you you remember where all the all the mounds are. It just becomes second nature to you. I'm really really excited about being able to craft digital collectibles and sell them on open loot for UDC. I think that's going to be a really cool feature. And they're going to pop out, I'm pretty sure they're going to pop out a golden chests as well. Maybe maybe these elite rogues, maybe they'll drop them as loot too. I'm not sure how the, how the mechanic's going to be. It's going to be interesting to find out. So we've got to draw him away from the other two mobs. Clean up over here, I think. This is a good spot. Fire speed down, dancing. Fire. They're just puzzles are nice and simple like this, under two minutes each puzzle, which is great. Hope they keep it that way.
That's basically a dungeon run. So it's a, I don't know, it's a great game. I like it for an early version release. I'm impressed. It, combat's good. Graphics are nice. Pl the playability is really good. I really got no complaints. They're just little bugs they got to teethe out. That's a teething process with early version games. It's not even in beta or alpha yet. you got you got to remember that. So a lot of people are angry they can't get into the game. All I can say is be patient. Please wait. Be patient. It's a great game. I think you're really going to enjoy playing this. They're going to expand it. It's going to be. It's going to be so many different things to do. They're going to bring out co-op. It's going to be so cool when co-op comes out. You go into dungeons with your friends and you can like CC chain the mobs with your friends. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be. That's going to be fantastic. I can't wait for stuff like that to happen. So basically, you know, finish the dungeon, run back out, sell me jewelry. Then check the uh, check the blueprints. What blueprints do I need? They're on two, three minute timer, two and a half minute timer or something. I don't really need any of these blueprints. I got I got a heap of blueprints. That's that's, that's basically the game gameplay for now. It's going to expand a lot. There'll be a lot more things to do, obviously. By the end of the year and through next year, interest interesting to see how they expand the town and all the different things and dailies you have to do, MMO wise and quests and stuff. That'll be really cool. So, you got any questions? Need any help? Any tips? Like, just j jump on my Twitch stream. Feel free to come in and ask. There's no wrong questions, you know. If you're just starting out, I don't mind. I don't, I don't look down on people for you know asking questions. I gotta unlock this. I gotta unlock level two, so I'm up to level unlocking level two. I don't think I have enough earth essence because I just made a he no seven earth essence I think to unlock. I might just have enough to unlock level two. Let's have a go. Let's go holographic bridge. See if I can unlock, unlock level two. Thirteen Earth Essence, yeah, eleven. Yeah, I'm gonna run. So I gotta run another two star to get two more Earth, two more Earth Essence to unlock that, and then I can start doing level twos, and then my gear won't need essences. I won't be, won't be bottlenecked by essences anymore. Which is a really cool feature, I like that. Uh, yep, I'm gonna adventure on with the Miyakos. Miyakol up everyone. And um I'll see you I'll see you later. You all stay safe. GG's everybody. If you like my video, hit the like, subscribe button, leave a comment. Watching watching one more of my videos will help with the uh, YouTube algorithm, the AI algorithm. So that you can do if you want to support me best thing you can do is just watch another video it helps with the the ui youtube ai algorithm whatever it is i'll see you all next time see you bye ni hao wo de jung gong pong yao wo shi gaba beast tv ru go ni shu huan wo de shi pin ni ke yi ji chu wo ni ku yi je Wo my dian chi chong dian che xie ni wa ni xi xie ni de ji chi gei wo ma dian chi
<laughs> Mei Lee. Mei Lee, Mei Lee. Share, share, Shao Kahn. Share, share, Shao Kahn. <laughs>